G'day, it's Mark here at Combi Life, and here we have presenting today a TDI 344 motion in pure grey, prepared as an awesome off-road camper. Due to the overwhelming response we received for our recent blue expedition vehicle, short wheelbase 4 motion, uh, the link will be here in this video. We've decided to create yet another one, this time pure grey, uh, with the TDI 344 motion. This vehicle came from the factory with some really nice options, including the appearance pack, which means it doesn't look quite so much like a commercial vehicle. Uh, it has the pure grey bumpers. It also has uh, the colour-coded mirrors, and it has the colour-coded door handles on the appearance pack. That's a really nice add-on from Volkswagen. If we do this aftermarket, it, it, it is never as good, never as thorough as having it in the appearance pack. This vehicle also came with a couple of other nice options we'll see when we go inside. Digital cockpit, the upgraded Discover Media Navigation, uh, head unit and navigation, as well as the comfort dashboard, as well as the uh, armrests on the driver's seat. The appearance pack also gives you the nice chrome highlights on the front as well. So moving inside, we can see the navigation is on the uh, radio there already, the, the digital cockpit is turned off, but you can see there's no analog dials. We have the digital cockpit there. We also have the armrests on the driver's seat, <coughs> which is awesome. We have equipped this vehicle with seat swivels. So the good thing about this is we retain the height adjustment. So we can still see the height adjustment on the driver's seat there, just above the handbrake. Uh, so that is very good compared to the factory swivels. We retain the height adjustment and have the full swiveling functions. As you can see, the elevating roof has been fitted. It's been done in that really nice uh, Westphalia style. So we have the elevating roof. Uh, it has an upstairs bed option as well. Uh, the, bed, the bed is very easily pulled down. And there is an additional panel here to create the full bed. And then to put it back up, we just lift it up in the center and it's back up. So that's a really neat, simple uh, upstairs bed solution. So even though we only have two seats, we, we can operate the full width Vanessa bed downstairs or we can operate the narrower upstairs bed or both. So some uh, would like to have one up and one down potentially in the van. We've also increased the uh, and improved the ventilation with these new and innovative Dometic uh, our windows. So the thing we like about these particular windows is they offer great ventilation. We can open them up here on the ratchets. They're rain protected, so we're not getting rain in when they're open in this particular way. And we have a full fly screen solution integrated. So that's very pleasant. And then we can also pull it down uh, with the blind as well. So. A really, really good solution there. We've added LED lighting. That's the two-stage lighting with the phosphorus noctilucent switch. So we have three of these lights within the vehicle, two over the uh, center area and a long, longer one, 450 down the back over the rear cabin area. We can see we've added the Van Essen mobile camping pack bags. The rear curtain system is also in place for full privacy down the back. We also have here uh, the internal lighting, which I might have to open the door to get that rear lighting on. We go so we've also got the original factory lighting still in place connected to the body control module so if you wish to turn the lights on from the front cabin uh, whilst touring you can turn those lights on without having to put these other other lights on as well the upstairs area just finally also has uh, the full block out it has the window the perspex window and it also has the fly screen in place as well so again full ventilation front and sides not entirely dissimilar to what uh, we've become used to recently with with Kelly. Okay, uh, and handles, it's a manual roof, handles down and using the strap system to secure the roof when it is down. So it's simple and effective and not, not prone to any uh, technical failures. Here in the rear, we've got all the interior lining up here in the uh, tailgate and throughout the vehicle. There's a lot of sound deadening that's taken place with, the, uh, with our special sound deadening products and insulation products that have gone in. And that has then been uh, chopped off with the Van Essen Mobile Camping Kitchen System. You've seen that on plenty of other videos. But just a quick recap, we have the, the sink with the optional shower attachment. We have the uh, cooker, the refrigerator, 
the utensil drawer and the two utility drawers and chopping board is included as well and the water supply is just behind here. The water supply is just behind there, that's a 16 litre water supply. The kitchen block is powered by uh, the 50 amp hour lithium battery uh, that is sitting under the drive station. Correction, that has uh, been recently upgraded that battery. So I believe it's another 125 amp hour battery. The specs are below. Uh, that battery is powering uh, the sink, the fridge, and the interior lighting, and also this Kefremo fan here, the French Canadian three speed fan with timer. So that provides some really excellent ventilation in all directions to push or pull air in all directions it's uh, an excellent excellent product so with the 125 amp hour battery system it's charging whilst we're driving with the red arc D, uh, dc dc charger and it also has an mppt regulator for you to connect your solar panel to so this vehicle is really set up very well for free camping uh, we finally you'll see on the outside of the vehicle here we have added some additional visual enhancements one the wheel arch guards so they just set the vehicle off very beautifully and finally, we have our new 12 spoke black uh, alloy rim. That is uh, a 17 by eight, obviously with a five by 120 pattern. It's hub centric, fits straight on, no locators, so it's perfect. And we've equipped it with the Pirelli Scorpion uh, 235, 65, 17. So this is a particularly tall tire. It does fit in the spare wheel well this tire as well and it's excellent for off-road and particularly sand driving. The sidewall is able to bag out very nicely um, when equipped. We'll also see, not quite so much to see at the back, but uh, we can see here at the front is the raised suspension system. So that's fitted to front and rear but it's more visible here at the front. So we have the raised suspension. We're using uh, the new Ibuck springs along with the Coney active dampers. So the Coney dampers are an outstanding product from Holland, very well known and regarded in Europe and particularly in the Volkswagen scene, and that is coupled with the Ibuck springs. So we achieved a 30 mil lift approximately through the springs and almost another 30 mils through these tyres. So the vehicle is sitting really well on the ground. We've also added uh, the, the, uh, uh, the, wind the weather shields, the tinted weather shield. So that is again very good for touring and ventilation in the vehicle when camping. And at the front here, we've added the nudge bar with the awesome, uh, steady, uh, super bright, the Steady Pros, I think they're called. They're on our website here, the Steady Pros. They're on the website, um, uh, and for you to see it, see some of the examples of the enhanced lighting. But this just really sets off the ability to drive this vehicle good distances at night. Uh, fully compatible with the parking, uh, sent, uh, with the, sorry, the front radar here, with the front radar. So the vehicle doesn't have parking sensors, the front it does have the parking sensors and camera at the rear. But we do have the front radar for city emergency braking and that is all compatible with that. So there you have it, TDI 340 Expedition vehicle with uh, elevating roof, uh, two seats, two beds, uh, absolutely outstanding. Give us a call about this vehicle if you'd like to do the same fit out to yours or if you're interested to purchase the vehicle whilst it's still for sale, uh, please get in touch with us. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like some additional uh, updates as we release new products and new vehicle fitouts. You'll also see that the multi-rail has been fitted, the short wheelbase roll multi-rail, which provides protection uh, from rain when the uh, when the awning is in place. Further, uh, the multi-rail has a front spoiler and a rear spoiler so that any rain that hits here will go down the front or rear windscreen. That's coupled uh, to the Fiamma mounting brackets for multi-rail for the Fiamma 2.6 metre black awning which provides that really lovely additional outdoor veranda style space. So the Fiamma awning, we've seen, you've seen those on some of the other videos in operation. Finally, we also have for the electrical system, uh, additional sockets on both sides in the rear cabin. So we have here Anderson connector for universal access to the battery. Uh, we have USBs and a 12 volt SIGA. And on the other side, USBs and 12 volt. There's a photo cutaway for that. And on the bottom of the driver's seat, we have additional access to the lithium auxiliary battery with a 12 volt socket and the yellow uh, denoted solar connector there for the 
uh, unregulated solar panel may be connected to that. If you wish to put solar on the roof, that would be possible because there are roof tracks or you could adhere solar to the roof, it's not yet equipped, or use the roof tracks for roof bars, maybe for your surfboards, for example. So that is uh, some of the highlights of the exterior of the vehicle.